Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. I'm glad you could be here today for today's episode. If you're new, I'm Carrie. I'm a matchmaker, a dating coach. I'm in the Chicago area, but clients are all over the country. And if you are looking for somebody to help you through this dating in 2022 situation, it's a little challenging. I know if it's a partner would make that easier for you and you wanted to investigate what that would look like, I encourage you to check out my website. The link to that is down in the description bar. One of the big things I've been busy doing this month is a lot of people are looking to update their dating profile. So we've been doing a lot of dating profile optimization. Try saying that three times very quickly. So check that out. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about when you're dating over 50, and I think it's applicable to younger people as well, you don't have to just run off. I know like 40% of you are not over 50, and that's totally fine because dating is dating, it really is. But this is about what the men need to know. It's kind of along the same lines as what men are looking for or those types of conversations. But this one is, um, Seven things, I have to see how many I came up with. Seven things men need to know. I hope you find it interesting. That's what's up right now. Not, obviously I'm making sort of generalizations. This is not applicable to everyone. There could be a man who none of these are important to. Some of these are important to a few, all, none. We're all different, unique individuals, but these seem to have a common occurrence in conversations. You know I talk to dozens of men and women every week when screening for my matchmaking clients and this comes up over and over. The number one thing in no particular order, men want to know you enjoy their company. No reason to keep this a secret, no reason to play it close to the vest as they say or play hard to get. If you're enjoying somebody's company or you're getting to know them, continuing to see them, let them know. It's super easy. Just say, I really enjoy our time together. And you would want to hear that. I think a lot of this does come down to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Treat other people the way you'd want to be treated. And I know that we as women love to know that somebody is enjoying our company and wants to see us again. So if you're feeling that, don't think of he'll figure it out on his own because he may, he may not. And what's easier to do than say, I really am having a great time tonight. This is fun. I'm so glad we're doing this. That's number one. Number two, you've been seeing each other. What else does he want to know? He wants to know that you are going to prioritize him. Not that you have to drop your life, give up all your friends, stop seeing your family, get drop out of the class you were taking, quit your job so that you're available at all times for him. But he does want to know that he has an important place, a role in your life that you are not going to blow him off to do something that's you know silly or unimportant. You know, I want, oh, Thursday's my night to stay home and watch TV. Men, like people in general, want to know that you think they are important, that you are going to prioritize them, make time for them, squeeze them into your schedule, even when you do have things going on, that you can make time to be with this person whose company you enjoy. That seems reasonable. Number three, what's very important in a relationship? Respect. And men want to know you respect them. You don't have to come out and say, I respect you, but you can show it in the things you do. How do you do that? It's usually by not doing things, by not, I don't like to use the word nagging, but not constantly telling people what to do or forcing your opinion on somebody or making them feel like they need to do things the way you like to do them, but having the respect to value the way he does something or his opinions or his time frame. You also show respect by not judging somebody, by not making them feel that they're wrong all the time or that they're silly and they don't know how to do something because your way is the only way, things of that nature. And also trying to change somebody. You will never make somebody feel respected if you let them know that there are things about them while you're great, there are just a few things I need to change about you and then you'll be perfect. Nobody wants to hear that. And also it's going to be a huge disappointment to you if you feel that you can change especially major things about somebody else. It's really, really best if you find somebody who you feel you can accept them just the way they are 
and that you can love them without any expectations that they are going to be perfect or do everything the way you would do it or be just like you. I mean, what's more respectful from, than that? And that leads us right into number four, which is that he can count on you. What can he count on you for? To be there when he needs you, to show up when he needs somebody to show up, to listen when he needs an ear or to support him when he needs a shoulder, but mostly to accept him the way that he is and not be, as I said, trying to change him. Nobody's perfect and to know that somebody's going to be there for you with all of your flaws, with all the mistakes you make, as imperfect as you are, that somebody is going to show up for you and accept you like that, that's a very, very positive thing in the human brain and heart. And if you can do that for another person, they're going to like you. Number five, men need to know that they can, along the same lines as being themselves, they can be vulnerable with you. If a man is comfortable enough to show emotion around you or to show a sensitive side, to know that he can show emotions around you, that he can be sensitive or have feelings that he does not usually show to other people when he's with you and not be embarrassed by those because you encourage him to be vulnerable, encourage him to embrace his feelings. They need to know that they can be their true selves emotionally when with you. Therefore, you never want to make jokes about somebody, a man crying or kidding him about it or just any ribbing or joking or making somebody feel self-conscious about being vulnerable. You know what happens in that situation? That person is never vulnerable with you again. They don't feel confident that you are going to show up for them emotionally. They are embarrassed and you don't want somebody to turn away from you because you've turned away from their emotional life. Number six, six, yes. Number six, men need to know that he doesn't have to be with you 24 hours for you to feel confident and secure in your relationship. He needs to know that he can still, if he likes it, most people do, he can still enjoy some his alone time by himself, off doing his own thing or out of the house, not with you, or continuing to hang out with guy friends whenever, if he has a night of the week or a night of the month that has been going on for years, that he doesn't have to give that up to be your partner. Men like to know that they don't have to change their entire social life or how they spend their time to be connected at the hip to you because you are now in a relationship. So if you can assure somebody that of course you understand that they need some alone time, time in another room, time at their own place, time to be with friends, that will really reassure somebody that they can continue to be themselves with you and that you are accepting of them. And then number seven, our final number seven, <laughs> is that men need to know that you are attracted to them and that you enjoy all the aspects of your relationship, knowing that you find them attractive, sexy, you enjoy being with them time-wise, spending time doing big things, doing small things like just hanging out and reading next to them or watching TV. Also, your intimate relationship is very pleasurable to you. Be the person who communicates this to a man and he will be appreciative because most men do want to know that you find them attractive and you find them appealing. And as a woman, I would suggest to you that you pretty much like that too when somebody lets you know that they think you're super cool and you're super hot or you're super sexy or whatever the term is that makes you feel wanted. They're human emotions that people want to feel that and know that about their partners. So that's another one that you should put on your list. That's seven things that men need to know from you if you are their partner. And I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please give the episode a thumbs up. If you would subscribe, then we could hang out again. Hit the ring bell, then you're notified every time a new episode goes live. Hint. That's on Wednesdays and Fridays around noon, depending on what YouTube wants to do as far as how quickly it uploads my episodes. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you back here again soon. Until next time, have a good one. You know what happens in that situation? They're never vulnerable. They're never vulnerable with you again. That's what's happened.
oh my gosh your list of things you want your man to know that you how do i phrase this oh forget it